Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I just want to show you how you can create your off canvas menu sidebar such as this one. So when you click on something, a button, an icon or basically anything in Elementor interface, you can trigger an off canvas menu using ultimate add-ons for Elementor. It's really simple. All you have to do is to just drag in a widget and I'll show you how easy it is. We'll see how you can do this without writing a single piece of code. So the first thing that you need to have is obviously the ultimate add-ons for Elementor. If you don't have ultimate add-ons, it's by the folks behind Astra, which has over 1 million installs on WordPress repo. So you can get ultimate add-ons from the link in the description. Once you have ultimate add-ons for Elementor, since this is an add-on for Elementor, it works in the native Elementor interface. So you can open up any page, post or a template by clicking on edit with Elementor. Once you're in the Elementor interface, just search for UAE off canvas or just type off and it's this one with the UAE label on top of it. Now drag it anywhere on your page and the where you drag this widget is really important. I'll show you that in a bit. I'll just drag it for now. So here's a button and you can choose the content that this button will trigger. As of now it's triggering some content. So I'll simply click here and click on menu. And here it has all the menus that you've created in the WordPress interface. Just like that. You don't have to configure anything whatsoever. That's it. It's that simple. So I have a menu created in my WordPress interface called nav menu. I'll pick that. And here you can choose the type of display which is actually triggering the menu. So it can be a button. It can be an icon. So even an icon can trigger a menu. It can be a custom class. We're actually going to do this on this page and I'm going to use a custom class setting. So I'll just click here and use custom class. Now nothing appears over here. It just gives you some text regarding the ID of the widget. It's not useful. Since we've selected custom class, let's give it a class. So I'll just call it my off canvas. It should be unique. So bear that in mind. So I'll just give this a class of my canvas. Now you can copy this class name and the content it's triggering is the same which is menu and the menu is called nav menu. I created a menu on the backend. So it will be triggering the same, but we don't have anything to trigger from here. So you need to paste the class name. Once you've selected class name, you need to paste the class name into any of the elementary section, column or a widget. I'll just click this button widget. I'll go to advanced and under here, you can simply paste the class name that you've given when you've dragged this widget so the class name that we gave was my off canvas right so under display settings it was my off canvas simply copy this scroll down and put this into advanced CSS classes so basically this element will act as a trigger to this off canvas menu widget I'll update this I'll click on the preview icon so that we'll see the preview without the elementor interface and once the preview loads since we assigned the ID to or the class to this button so when I click on this button the menu is triggered with all the menu items in it that's really neat now you can do the same for ID as well so I'll just click on this off canvas widget again and from custom class I'll change it to custom ID I'll say my off just give it any name any unique name they should be really unique. So I just gave it an ID of my off. I'll copy this ID and it works the same way as it did before. Just click on this button. Instead of class name, you now need to paste it in the ID. So I'll update this. Once I update it here, even the preview will get updated. Now it's essentially the same. So class, if you're giving this widget a class name, the class name should be pasted into CSS classes. If you're giving this widget a ID, it should be the ID that will be used here. It's that simple. 
So that's for a widget. Now we have a problem with this widget. It adds a neat little gap because it has some HTML which is required to trigger the off canvas sidebar. So the best thing to do if you're using this method is to copy and paste it at the end of the page so that it won't affect the design of your page. I'll copy the widget, I'll paste it at the end. So it's here, now I can remove it from here. I'll delete this, I'll update this again. Display settings are essentially the same. I chose custom ID. So I added ID to the same button under CSS ID and it works essentially the same. Now we won't have this gap because I've removed the widget from here and I've placed it at the bottom. You won't even notice that. So that's really neat. Now it works the same way, just like that. Now, not just a button, you can copy the class or the ID. Remember the ID has to be unique. So it's better to use class. If you're confused between class and ID, just use a class. Just give this widget a class name and use the class anywhere you want to trigger this off canvas menu. I'll copy this off canvas menu and you can also paste it into any section. So I can click on the section I can paste the same class here. So this whole section will then act as a trigger for my off canvas menu. I'll do the same for this column or maybe this whole column. So this fine food cuisine, I'll just give this the same class name as well. So now we have two triggers. The first one is the section and the second one is this whole column. Once the preview updates, so this whole section is the trigger. So when I click anywhere on the section, the off canvas menu is triggered because we gave the class name to this section. So that's really neat. Now let's get back to this. So this whole column will also act as a trigger just like that. So on the whole page, whichever you want to act as a trigger, you just paste this class name into a section, column or any widget. It can be multiple of them on a same page. That's really neat. So that's per the page, right? What if you want to do it at global level? What if you want to have it in your header? The easiest way to do this at global level is simply by using this off canvas widget in Elementor Pro's header template. That's the easiest and the smartest way to do. So I'll go to my dashboard. As of now, my header has this menu. We'll just convert it into off canvas. I'll remove this menu and just convert it into off canvas. So I'll go to theme builder, click on header and it's this header which is active now. So I'll just click on edit with Elementor. Now I'm in the header builder. So this is the menu. I just want to trigger this menu and it's nav menu. You can see that from there. So instead of having this menu here, I'll just click on the widgets button. I'll search for off canvas. I'll just drag this below this and the content type is obviously menu and the menu is nav menu so we want to essentially trigger the same menu but it will be in the form of a slider you can also adjust the width I'll adjust the position of the off canvas menu so it pops up from the right instead of popping up from the left so I'll change this you can change the animation if you change it to push the whole canvas is a bit pushed as you can see. I think this looks a bit better but it's up to you. You can change it here. You can change the overlay color. Anyway, so I'll align this and instead I'll not have a button but I'll have an icon to trigger this. So I'll just choose icon from here and you can either upload your own SVG or you can simply use an icon. So I'll Scroll down and I'll just use this icon. You can use any icon and you can change the size. I'll just change it to 20 and I'll align it onto the right. You can align it wherever you want. I'll just align it onto the right. I'll remove the nav menu now because we just have the logo and this hamburger icon which will essentially act as our trigger 
I'll update this and that's it. Now you open up, I'll just refresh this page. Since this header is site wide, you can open up any page, post or a template that has header in it. Usually header is global and click on it and the off canvas menu is triggered. That's it. Now they have a method in which you can make this work on your WordPress menu in case you're using the header or the uh, global header of your theme. But doing it with Elementor Pro is quite easy as you can see. All you need to do is to just drag the off canvas menu widget into your Elementor Pro header and assign it to a menu. It's that simple. If you want to do it the WordPress menu way, you might have to tweak a little bit of code, which I don't recommend. This is the easiest method. Follow this. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get it from the link in the description. You can customize the overlay color. You can customize how you should close. So you can also choose to close on overlay. Click. You can choose various items. You can choose text color. You can choose off canvas menu background color. And you can choose the icon color. So maybe something like that. You can choose the close icon color. You can add some padding to it if you want. And that's it. Let's refresh this page. And wherever you have this header, since I sent this header to whole page, it will be applied across the page. Not a big deal. You need to change the menu item colors here because they're not visible. So I'll click on menu. I'll just change the text color to this. Refresh this again. Now all the menu items will be clearly visible. I'll click on the hamburger menu and there's our neat little off canvas menu. You can also add transparency to the background. So when you choose background for your off canvas, click here and this slider below the color slider is the transparency slider. So it will show you how opaque or transparent your background is. So this is totally opaque. So you can have a neat little translucent background there. I'll update. We'll preview it for one last time. You can also drag this off canvas menu widget wherever you want. If, it do, if you want to do it per page, you can use any of the triggers. You can use icon, you can use button or you can use class method and ID method I showed you earlier. But if you want it at a global level, so that, see that, need a little off canvas menu without writing any code. I really love this. What do you think about this? And if you don't have Elementor Pro or Ultimate add-ons, I highly recommend you get them because they're really powerful and there are a lot of things that you can do with it. Off canvas menu is just one of the many things that it can do. I'll catch you in the next one. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Peace.